Hey, how's it going? I'm Spiderberger. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Practice Pigeonhole. Today, I wanted to practice drawing machines and technology of various kinds because I've noticed that when it comes to these things, I'm a bit of a coward and I never actually draw them. And because of that, I kind of struggle when I need to draw them. So, you know, practice is necessary. I think the problem is partially my own perfectionism because when drawing these, you usually have to draw like very basic 3D cubes and rectangles. But I become like obsessed with this idea that if the cube or rectangle isn't inherently symmetrical and perfect, then it's just like bad and I shouldn't be using it. But then if it is symmetrical and perfect, it really throws me off and I can't really draw properly. So that it, it kind of throws me off a little bit, but it happens, you know, it, it's drawing. Something's bound to throw you off. This first minute is me just doing practice drawings of different machines with references because, you know, I need to practice. And for the most part, I think I did okay. Cars, definitely not. I did not do okay with the car. I gave up, kind of. And I came up with the idea of a cat vending machine because I just thought it would be cute and in the final drawing I wanted something to do. So I went with that just because, you know, I, it was the only idea I had and I wanted to just use it properly. The vibes I was going for with this was kind of just like pastel vending machine but with a cat motif. So I definitely had a lot of pinks in mind. Um, one thing that I didn't account for is the 3D aspect. I've discovered something about myself, which is that when drawing in 2D, a lot of my drawings come across as flat because I'm not looking at them as if they're 3D objects. But when I try to look at them as if they're 3D objects, everything becomes cluttered and I can't bring myself to finish the drawing, if that makes sense. It, it's just, it becomes like a mess visually, so I can't really see what I'm doing. And I think that's part of the reason why structured things like technology that are usually made up of very specific 3D shapes are such a struggle for me. And this is very obvious when it comes to the shelves of this. Luckily, I had like a good guide this time around. You know, I set myself up ahead of time, so I was able to do them relatively well, I think. It's just, it kind of did throw me off a bit. There's also the fact that, like, I wanted the front of it to look slightly separated from the rest of it, because vending machines do have, like, a bit of an opening portion to it. I don't know, like a door, I guess you'd call it, so that you could refill the chips and the chocolate and the drinks and stuff. And I wanted to make it look like it had one of those, so I've got, like, a bunch of locks on it, and I made the front of it look slightly disconnected, like it protrudes out a little bit compared to the uh, silhouette of the rectangle guide. But oh my god, that, like it looks good, but it really threw me off and it was hard to get it correct, if that makes sense. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore at this point. It's just, it's kind of messy because it's in 3D, but that's not really the point. I guess, maybe it is the point, I don't know, I'm tired, <laughs> forgive me, please. The only thing that I think would need improving, apart from the whole 3D aspect, is maybe just like the way I went about it. I remember in high school I did tech drawing, which is where you like specifically use rulers and vanishing points to draw things like this and I didn't do that this time because I was tired and running out of time and I just wanted to draw like one vending machine so I didn't see the point. I see the point in hindsight, believe me I do. But I also should point out that I didn't do any shading for this piece partially because it would take way too long and because as you are probably aware by now if you have interacted with any of my social medias or videos my laptop would not survive. In all honesty, I'm pretty sure it's on its last legs as is. I give it maybe like three or four months before it's completely unusable. So I've got to save up for a new computer by then. Wish me luck. Anyway, apart from that, I actually really like the way this turned out. Like, yeah, it's not shaded, so it's not technically finished or anything, but 
the fact that I used kind of like wonky line art and I still like the way it looks, like it doesn't look wrong even though it's not inherently like straight lines, perfectly looking, it's actually a little bit comforting because my perfectionism insists on making everything inherently like perfect looking and I think that's another reason why everything ends up so flat. It's just honestly so tough to deal with but the fact that this isn't like inherently perfect but I still like the final design, I like the, the color palette, I like the way I drew the chips and the drinks, I like the little like push flap bit that's got a cat paw on it because I thought that was cute. It's just everything about it turned out really well and I think another point that I'd like to make is when designing things that I don't usually like to draw or am not particularly skilled in drawing like machines or houses or backgrounds I try to like add a bit of personal flair to it. This is a tip that I actually got from Lavender Town which if you haven't watched her videos please do um, where she suggests that if you are good at doing character design you should look at the house you're designing or the machine you're drawing as a character give it like a personality or an aesthetic or a trait that makes it fun to draw so that you're not just drawing like a copy paste of a reference image and that advice really helps me so I hope it helps you too I don't have too much else to say really this video is very short uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you have any feedback and yeah thanks for watching have a nice day Hey, by the way, I have a Patreon if you'd like to consider supporting me. The link will be in the description. If you become a patron of mine, you'll be able to get early access to my videos about a week ahead of time, some extra artwork that you wouldn't get anywhere else, and if you pay a bit higher for some of the extra levels, you can get some work in progress updates, some shoutouts in my YouTube videos, or even personalised shoutouts where I read a message out that you send to me for everyone to hear. Check it out if you're interested. I also have a Redbubble shop where I sell various designs based on the characters and drawings that I do on my YouTube channel, specifically around the character design copy characters. You can get different types of stickers and posters, even some pillows if you want. It's up to you, but the link is in the description if you'd like to check that out. Thank you!